your odds of dying as a young person in the next 24 hours are around about 0.00009%. What are your chances of winning the Euro Millions jackpot? Well, a Euro Millions draw involves 50 balls being picked at random. These balls are unsurprisingly numbered from 1 to 50. You need to predict which five will come out, and if you do successfully do that, congratulations! You've not won the jackpot. To win the jackpot, you've also got to predict the lucky stars. Now, the lucky stars, despite their name, are also balls. They're numbered from 1 to 11, and you have to predict two of them. So to work out your grand total probability, we can go through the draw step by step. When the first ball is picked out of the 50, there are five numbers that will match yours. You've got a 5 in 50 chance of being correct, 10%. If you are correct, when they take the next ball out, there are four numbers you still need to get. There are 49 balls remaining. You have a 4 out of 49, or 8.2% chance, of getting the second ball as well. The third ball, there are then three numbers you need out of the 48 in the bucket. The next draw, you need two from 47, and the last one will be one from 46. This is all the way down to about a 2.2% chance now. In terms of the lucky stars, the first one out, there are two numbers you need out of the possible 11, and then one from 10. If you multiply all of these together, your grand total probability of winning the Euro Millions jackpot is around about 0.000. 0008581358%. It works out to be the same odds as 1 in 116,531,800. To understand just how unlikely this is, I could compare it to something we're much more familiar with. If you start flipping a coin, you get 26 heads in a row. That's actually more likely to happen than you winning the jackpot. But even then, how likely is that? We haven't got a grasp on how unlikely that is. So I want to compare it to something that we do have more experience with. There were around about 7,417,600 young people across England and Wales as of the mid of 2011. Now that's young people defined from the age of 16, which is the youngest age you can play the lottery, up to 25. Now of those 16 to 25 year olds, around about 2,437 of them met their unfortunate end one way or the other across 2011. So that means that if you're a young person living in England and Wales, your odds of dying in the next year are around about 0.032854%. A bigger percentage than your odds of winning the jackpot. It is more likely you will die this year than you winning the jackpot. So if we divide that probability by 365, your odds of dying as a young person in the next 24 hours are around about 0.00009%. Still a bigger chance than your odds of winning the jackpot. Now people accuse me of being very pessimistic about all this, but I think that is a very positive, optimistic statistic. For example, if you've got something tomorrow that you don't want to do, something you'd rather avoid, it's okay. Just relax. There's a 0.00009% chance you're not even going to have to deal with tomorrow. Now, if you keep dividing all the way down, if you are a young person from 16 to 25, your odds of winning the Euro Millions jackpot are the same as your odds of dying in the next 13 minutes and 44 seconds. And if you're older than 16 to 25, believe me, the stats do not get any better. My only advice, if you do wish to play the Euro Millions, is to buy your ticket within 13 minutes and 44 seconds of the draw. Because if you buy your ticket more than a quarter of an hour before the draw, there is a bigger chance you will not live to see it than there is you winning it. If you liked that and you'd like to hear the answer to some much simpler questions, why not subscribe to Head Squeeze? Just click the button here. put it on my face.